Hey guys, week 28 bearding update, and I've got to say that <laughs> I've really enjoyed growing this beard. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to a yeard, a full yeard. We're at a half yeard now. It's become very difficult to do a lot of the things that I like to do. Uh, one of the main things that I do is I like to grapple as my workout slash exercise type activity and this beard is it gets in the way a lot i'm having a lot of people pull hairs on accident and uh, it's a, it's a pain literally a pain i do want to talk about a couple of the things that i've learned in six months of bearding so i i've really enjoyed trying a lot of different product uh, for my beard and a couple of things that i wanted to share about beard products like the number one beard product that I would recommend to people Scotch Porter beard conditioner by far this this product has made the most difference in my day-to-day -day maintenance of my beard it keeps my hair soft it helps it be manageable um, with using less pro other products like I use less beard balm less beard oil because Scotch Porter really does a good job of conditioning the hair on my face Number two, Artie's Man Beard Oil. I love this stuff. Classic Gentleman is my favorite one. I really like the smell. There are a couple others that I don't like. This The scent of just my personal preference. I love Classic Gentleman. I use it probably the most out of all of my bearding, beard oils. I use Artie's Man Classic Gentleman. But... No matter what scent you use, Artius Man puts out a really quality product. The oil is thick, it lasts a long time, the scent is uh, strong but not overpowering, so highly recommend those two products. Scotch Porter Conditioner, uh, and there are some specials out there, I know Scubaditas on Beard Tube uh, has a, has a, he's sponsored by them and he'll have product code for scotch porter products and artist man as well where you can get some some discounts out there but anyway those are the two products i'd recommend to people i there are a couple different beard balms that i've used there's a high hold one that i use if i have a meeting and i want to be real careful about not having any flyaways uh, there's another one i use just to condition my hair but i, I don't know if i'd really say they're awesome products they're just they're good products so i won't talk about those too much i would say hey grow a beard and and try a lot of different things look at a lot of different reviews dan c the man is got a ton of reviews out there a ton of really cool reviews where he goes and finds product that's not super popular yet and and it may become that way he's got a lot of really good reviews on his channel so um anyway Week 28 bearding update, here it is. It's been a lot of fun. The next time you see me, it may not be as long. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been thinking a lot about cutting it shorter because I've been having problems with it. Uh, I had a job interview the other day. I had, uh, there. There were two women and a man that were interviewing me. The man is military, completely shaved head, shaved face. The two women looked almost frightened that I had a big beard. Uh, it was a little bit weird, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so that was odd. I've got a new boss, and um, I feel like I'm getting stared at a little bit too often. So I may, and, and to be honest with you, some days it feels homeless and some days it feels classy uh, today is probably an in-between day but I don't like the homeless days so we'll see how it goes uh, I'll keep you updated if I keep growing especially um, then we'll go from there hey thanks for watching and uh, if, if it was really good subscribe and we'll talk to you again later thanks